Hello, welcome to Nina's Knots Crochet. I'm Lenann. If you're new here, hey, thanks for stopping by and checking out my channel. My channel, it's all about crochet, a little bit about knitting, a lot about yarn, and my journey in this fabulous yarny community. Returning subscribers, hey, thanks so much for coming back, spending a little bit of your Thursday with me for Vlogmas Day 14. Whew. We're, we're we're cooking right along. Can you believe it is the 14th of December? Gosh, Christmas is creeping up on us so fast. Um, today, of course, I will open my cornbread and honey um, advent and see what the next color is. But yesterday in the mail, I got the first part of my Aberdeen wool order that I made on Black Friday or maybe th Thanksgiving day, somewhere right around in there. Um, I'm still waiting on even confirmation that they shipped my Tangled Poets pickle jar and refill, but I did get my mystery bags. So um, I got three mystery bags and they were such a good deal, you guys. Um, normally I don't do mystery bags. Mystery bags to me always seem like it's whatever's left over that nobody really wants or colors that aren't the greatest. And so I've stopped buying mystery bags, but when I saw Gary at Urban Yarns open his and Diane from My Pink Bathtub Knits and some others opening their mystery bags, I'm like, I'm gonna give it a shot. And they were so inexpensive for what they were getting because, you know, I don't even remember what the charge was, but then they, you know, recalculated it for the American dollar and then they had a discount on top of that. So these were very, very inexpensive. I did get three what they considered crochet uh, bags. So we'll see what happens. Um, I'm plugging away at my Shaw. I'll show that to you probably Monday. Um, and I started a second Shaw because I wanted something a little bit mindless um, and a little bit lacy. So I started a second Christmas shawl. I don't know what I'm going to do with two Christmas shawls, one for Christmas Eve, one for Christmas Day, right? Um, but I started the uh, post virus shawl from Bag o Day. Um, Although I'm not doing actual posts like she does, I'm doing a modified Alpine stitch. I didn't want the lines, but I liked the idea of the texture. So yeah, I did. I'm doing uh, the modified uh, Alpine stitch. I am using my Nako Mona Lisa yarn and it is so soft and so squishy and I'm going to go until I have no more. I have, I think, um, and I'm using my amazing wool genie. This thing is so fabulous. Put this on your Santa Christmas list, guys. It's a life changer. It's, it's amazing. Um, I'm using the Nino. I can't remember. There's two different color whites I have. I have, I'm using the white that's not snow white it's kind of like a little bit off white and i'm using the red and the green and this is the same yarn that i used last year to make the um corner to corner blanket that's currently on the back of my couch if you see uh tom opening his advent the one that's hanging on the back of the couch that's the yarn i used it's going to be warm and squishy and beautiful and I love this Nako Mona Lisa yarn. It is fabulous. Um, it is, well, let's use the white because that's the one I'm using. This is the uh, 98511 and it's kind of a, almost an ivory-ish white, but it's not even ivory. It's, it's between white and ivory. It's, it's very strange. <clears throat> but this is 100% anti-pilling acrylic, machine washable, um, and there are 100 grams, 172 meters. I have four more of these left after this one, and I've got a bunch of red, but I only have, I think, two 
green. So my green isn't going to be a whole lot, but I'm just going to go and make this a big, huge triangle that I can wrap myself up in. But, and you know, crystals patterns are easy to follow once you've got the, um, I mean, I kind of have the uh, virus stitch just by memory. I kind of have it memorized. It's just a matter for me. It's when you go to start the uh, post rows that she calls it, and then how to get back to the virus stitch. So, but this is going to be fun and warm. And, it'll, you know, I'll double dip this into uh, Judy's Creations and Crochet again and uh, have two because I really do like the Tunisian shawl. I would show you how far I've gotten on it, but it's in the living room and I don't want to pause and start and do all that. So we're just going to roll with it. We'll show you this one today. So anyway, this is the post virus shawl. You can find this on Crystal Bagwaday's uh, site. She has a tutorial for it. I believe this is one of the written patterns you can buy on Etsy from her um, because that's where I saw, or not on Etsy. Um, well, yeah, through her Etsy store, but I saw it on Ravelry and I went, yeah, I forgot all about that one. The reason I wanted to do a virus stitch, and this I'm blaming on Shannon at Another Yarn. She's doing a virus stitch blanket, the virus meets granny square. And I'm like, I haven't done the virus stitch in two years. I need to do the virus stitch. So but I didn't want to do solid virus stitch. I wanted to be able to throw in some color. So, ta-da, the virus, uh, the post virus by Crystal at Vago Day. So that is what I'm working on other than, you know, my other uh, Tunisian shawl. Or no, it's not Tunisian. Is it Tunisian? No, it's a regular shawl. See, I can't even remember. You guys, I am so stressed out this time of year and it's, and it's not even the holidays. We're going to have to have a talk on Friday. Mm. And plans for today has changed. So tomorrow's video is going to be a little chatty. It's going to be a little shouty outy. I got some channels I want to shout out. And um, I have a baggy blanket. But today we're going to look at some yarny goodness. Let me get this stuff out of the way because we're going to need the space. So let's start with the... Mystery bags from ooh, feels interesting. Okay, these are these are all from Aberdeen Wools. Aberdeen Wools is a company in Canada. Um, so don't mind the crinkle. Crinkle means good yarn. I don't want to cut anything. I think I have enough space. Yeah, we're good. Oh, leave it at. Okay. So in here is some patterns. A mosaic hat and scarf from Premier. And this one is just a big old tube scarf that you can use for a hood and all that. And Mittens. Ooh, I wanted to do mittens. Okay, so let's see. The first one is this Saturn fluffy whatever this stuff is. Um, 70% nylon, 30% viscose, 70 yards, 50 grams. It's soft, but yeah... I will never, ever, ever make anything with that. It's a pretty color. It's very pretty purple magenta with flecks of teal and orange and yellow and black. Yeah, I won't use that. <gasps> Ooh. Trendsetter Star 68 Polyamide 20 Acrylic 12% mohair, give or take 110 yards made in Italy. So 
it says color 996 dye lot 109 that's a beautiful charcoal gray and it is soft Ooh, yeah and it's a fingering sport fingering weight i think super soft really pretty color okay that that's a keeper oh yeah i am not even going to try to attempt to pronounce this i will show you this this stuff is pure new wool icelandic wool Ooh. 110 yards hand wash lay flat to dry ogatech standard okay all you pronunciation people all you language people how in the world do you say that word but look at that beautiful denim -y color with kind of heathered Ooh, this is so pretty this is going to make a spectacular hat this is real it's very very wooly you can feel the wool in this i'm gonna sneeze maybe oh maybe not but this is a beautiful color beautiful yarn another keeper oh another one of these the trendsetter so that's two of those. Oh, it's this. This is the KFI collection sack indulgence organic organic merino wool blend. That's pretty. I like that color. Um, this is 75% organic wool, 25% polyamide, 495 yards. It was number one, super fine. Uh, U.S. hook one to four. The color is called Stormy Seas. Yes, yes it is. Hmm. How about putting those together? That would make something pretty, wouldn't it? Huh, that's interesting. So that is bag number one. Bag number two. Um, a crochet towel, which I would never do. Vivid headband. That's kind of cute. And... The simple half double crochet infinity scarf. And we are pulling out. Oh, Ultra Alpaca by Baroque O. This is a pretty color. Um, 219 yards, super fine alpaca, 50% Peruvian wool. Hand wash in cool water, lay flat to dry, made in Peru for Barocco. Uh, five millimeter hook for a four medium, it's worsted weight. That will make a beautiful hat too. And it is soft. I love alpaca. Ooh, this is nice. Very, very nice. Oh, we got some Premier Home Cotton. Lala, this is coming towards you. Bright orange. I don't do home cotton. I don't do anything with home cotton. So I will send that off to Laura because that's her color. And then another of the sock. The same, the same sock. So make that will. I think this would make a really pretty shawl. So that is bag number two and bag number three. Down in here is a card that says, thank you for your order. We hope you enjoy your new yarn and I appreciate you supporting our small business. Uh, if you leave us a Google review, you can find them on Instagram, Facebook, and Tangled Poets is on YouTube. Right. And the last one.
I'll leave a link to their uh, website in the description box below. Um, ooh, Barocco Ultra Wool Fine Superwash Wool. 100% superwash full wool for best result. Place in a mesh bag and wash in cold water on delicate. Um, it's a number one fine. It says use a three millimeter knitting needle. Made in Peru. I don't see like a colorway. Oh, it just says color is 53163. But look at that beautiful aqua color. Isn't that pretty? And it's soft and springy. Okay, I'm not mad at that at all. Oh, some more of this. Yay, this trendsetter. I've got two more of the trendsetter. So that's really... The, I'm, I'm seeing a big project with this. A big, beautiful shawl with these. Yes, please. Oh, I forgot to see what patterns were in here. Oh, the same infinity scarf. This one is, it's just a knit. Oh no, they have a crochet version of the Darn Knit Anyway exclusive pattern for some kind of, there's the pattern. There's the knit pattern, and I guess you're supposed to use this specific yarn to get that. So that's not going to work out because I don't have that, that yarn. And last thing in here is another one of these sock, organic socks. Oh, I like those colors too. The pinks and the blues and the lime green. That's pretty. Some red in there. That's pretty. Okay, I'm not mad at this. Um, I'll be real honest with you. When the first thing I saw was this, I was kind of afraid because this I couldn't use. I don't have the patience for this stuff, not even a little bit, although it is super, super soft. Um, it's got to be one of those things where you have to hold it together with something. And I can't, I'm not good at that. I don't like to do that but it's a really pretty color and super soft. So, but now that I see the rest of this, I mean, beautiful sock wool, so pretty. This beautiful mohair blended stuff, this is gorgeous. I dropped one. This is polyamide acrylic and mohair, and it's I love this color. This beautiful ball of wool, and then the kitchen cotton that will be gifted, and this beautiful alpaca blend from Barocco, which is the worsted weight. It is so pretty. Okay, not this was well worth what I paid. I I want to say I paid nineteen dollars per bag and I, I, you know, based on just for, again, everything is worth what you're willing to pay. I'm willing to pay $19 for this, for whatever I got in these bags. It was worth it for me. You know, some people won't, but I, I just want to play with this alpaca yarn. Okay. We're just gonna sit here and squeeze it. No, we have other things to do, right? Okay. So that was Aberdeen Wolves. Real quick, let's open up the, cause we're already at 20 minutes almost. Let's open up our uh, cornbread and honey. I'm gonna open it down here, close my eyes, and tear open this bag and find, maybe tear open, the sticker's really stuck today. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Oh, I love that color. That's really, really pretty. I It's a mauvey brown. You've got that hint of pink with the brown. 
That is really, really pretty. I love it. Oh goodness. Okay. So here we are. Cornbread and honey, day one through 14. Oh, I'm really digging this. This is so pretty. Yeah, I'm happy. I know you guys have all said you really are enjoying the colors of this. I hope some of you were able to get in touch with Tanya and maybe get your own because I'm telling you guys, this is so, so worth it. I really need to find just the right project to use this yarn. Why are you not setting down like you're supposed to? Um, because it is just too beautiful. Um, to just willy nilly it, I'm going to have to find something that's perfect for all of that beautiful, beautiful yarn. So you guys with that, I'm going to let you get back to your Thursday. Um, you know, enjoy your day, bake some cookies. I'm that's my plans for next week is I'm baking cookies and I'm going to make, try my hand at some homemade bread, cross your fingers that it works. But anyway, Enjoy the holidays, enjoy your family, enjoy your friends, uh, watch a Christmas movie, whatever it is that will bring you some joy today while you're crocheting or knitting or whatever, reading a pattern, but make sure you take care of yourself because if you don't take care of yourself, you can't take care of the ones you love, but above all, be kind to everyone. We'll see you this afternoon when Tom opens his advent. Have a great day.